what's so exciting for us and was the intention from the start many years ago when we embarked on this two-picture journey uh, uh, to sort of tie up the Marvel Cinematic Universe is that it would be very hard to predict where Avengers Endgame goes mm. and how it gets there. I think all of the remaining heroes deal with the events of the end of Infinity War differently. I think most of them are not used, all of them are used to trauma of one kind or another. None of them are used to being defeated so thoroughly by a single antagonist. And I think they're, they, they are trying to figure out how that happened and why that happened. It's been a journey and it's been a journey for 10 plus years for our fans, for people who enjoy going to the movies, and the reaction to the end of Infinity War when half of their favorite characters dissipated and turned to dust really was indicative of how emotionally connected the, the world has gotten to these characters. It is triply so for those of us working day in and day out on these movies, and certainly the actors who have been portraying these characters for many years. It's two of the biggest movies that Marvel has ever made. Um, so to trust me with that is pretty an amazing feeling, but to also be a part of it and, and take the journey with the Russo brothers and Marcus McFeely and the rest of the crew for the year and a half that we were in Atlanta shooting the two movies, uh, and then just seeing it at the end, you know, watching it with everybody at the premiere, where it's at, you know, at first, actually for some people, it was the first time that they've ever seen it. Uh, it was a pretty overwhelming feeling, but it was amazing altogether. This is the first time that Marvel has ever made a movie where our villain actually wins at the end. Our heroes were brutally defeated by Thanos. Uh, so that was the first, and it was very exciting to actually, you know, take that leap um, and, and do something different. So I think, and then to have audience actually embrace that at the end and when they watch the movie and they were, you know, and it, it, it was bittersweet. It was uh, overwhelming in the sense that this is the first time our heroes are defeated this way um, and some of our characters didn't make it at the end, but in a good way, it was a change um, in that they were actually pretty surprised that we actually took that. Uh, challenge and um, I think the outcome you know was I love that people embrace that they love these characters and they know these characters inside out um, and they're literally you could not have asked for better directors to be making these two movies um, because they're so passionate about what they do and they love this world and like they love the MCU and you know all they want to do is just build upon that and create more It is the biggest movie that Marvel has ever made. Um, I mean, the scope of, of this movie is unheard of. And, you know, when we say, or when Tony utters the words, it's been leading to this, it's all been leading to this, it is true. You know, Avengers 4, this movie, um, Strange says it so perfectly at the end of uh, Infinity War. You know, we're now in the end game. This is it. You know, this is the big epic showdown of all showdowns. Well, we were unsure what the response was going to be. Um, how often does the, uh, does the villain win? And, and win in such a resounding way that you lose approximately half of your superheroes and half of the uh, living creatures in the universe. So we weren't quite sure. We thought they might revolt on us, uh, but... Uh, I, I think some of them, you know, it was mixed bag, I would think, too. Some people uh, uh, hated it but loved it at the same time. Some people loved it because they know there's another Avengers movie coming out and, and to see how this all wraps up. So I think it was a quite, uh, a quite a mixed bag, but I think that through the common denominator through it all is that people were really moved by it. And, uh, and uh, it, Marvel has gone in a completely in another direction and, and has done something different. Uh, the villain wins. The heroes lose, and now what happens? The Russos are so uh, adept at handling complicated storylines, uh, dealing with multiple issues, uh, 
They're great with comedy. They have that's where they started. That's where their chops are. They become great at action. They're they're the premier action directors. So, and they're great with emotion. If you look at uh, you know, Civil War, for instance, how emotional is that film? So they were the perfect combination, and we needed two people that were going to be able to shoot for a year straight. That is a remarkable amount of shooting. It would be relentless because of you're constantly prepping, shooting, editing as you go, and uh, there was no other choice. And when we approached them with it, they were they said they were wide-eyed and smiling. He said, yes, we're up for this task. Hey guys, did you know the top five most expensive movies ever made are Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens at number five, Avengers Age of Ultron at number four, Pirates of the Caribbean at the World's End at number three, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides at number two, and coming in at number one is Avatar. Now click here below to subscribe for more great content and on the side if you want to watch another video.